the Battle of Hanging Rock in Virginia. On June 21st, 1864, following two days of fighting at Lynchburg, Confederate General Robert Ransom's cavalry pursuing the Union General David Hunter. His column, Hunter's column at this point, was retreating and they engaged in a conflict that ultimately became known as the Battle of Hanging Rock. Hunter, fearing an assault by the forces of Confederate General Jubal A. Early after the Union defeat at Lynchburg, withdrew toward Newcastle, Virginia. His troops followed the Lynchburg-Salem Turnpike. Early sent his army in pursuit. He ordered Ransom to lead his cavalry over the Peaks of Otter. We're going to try to get there on this trip. Uh, Peaks of Otter uh, is where the, that's the route that the cavalry took. Uh, to get to Salem on the Great Road. Now the Great, when, when you're reading uh, the Great Road is modern day Route 11. Uh, on, another name for that road is the Great Wagon Road and that's the road that my ancestors took in the early 1730s, late 1720s, early 1730s when they settled the Rockbridge County, Virginia area. Uh, then it was just known as the G Great Wagon Road. By the days of the Civil War, it was known as the Great Road. Today, it's Route 11 in Virginia. Hunter's retreating forces included a wagon train of ambulances and supply wagons, artillery and munitions. The narrow gap between the steep bluffs at Hanging Rock, and we just showed you that on a little clip when we were across the, the little river there. The bluffs are steep. Uh, it delayed the column, creating a prime opportunity for the Confederates to attack. On the morning of June 21st, Confederate General John McCausland, his cavalry spotted the stalled Union artillery. Early's infantry had not caught up with Hunter's army, so Ransom sent McCausland with only a portion of his cavalry to strike the Union column. Union guns and wagons sustained heavy damage. Wheels were torn away cannon trinions were broken and limbers pushed into Mason Creek, which is the little creek that we showed you uh, in the clip. McCausland's troops burned ammunition, wagons, killed and captured horses, confiscated guns, and took prisoners. Finally, the Union cavalry and infantry reinforcements arrived, so McCausland was forced to abandon this gap, allowing Hunter to continue his retreat. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, General David Hunter uh, is the one who burned down portions of VMI. Uh, he, he came all the way down through the Shenandoah Valley causing uh, problems and wreaking havoc. Uh, it's called Hunter's Raid. But ultimately, at the end of the day, he was stalled here at least for a short period of time.